the tools that we had in Tinkercad was being able to fuse objects together. Blender doesn't work it quite the same way, but there is a way to approximate it if we want to keep everything in Blender that still works pretty well. So first thing I'm going to do, more because of the next video I want instead of this one, is I'm going to apply a subdivision surface. And I'm doing that so I get a spherical shape. I'm going to apply that, and I want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to press S and scale it up a bit. And that looks a bit better to me. Now I'm right-clicking and I'm duplicating, and you can see that I can drag out a duplicate and place it wherever I want. So what I want to do is I want to merge these two spheres together and then in the next video I'm going to smooth them out so that I can blend them together. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to use another modifier. I'm not using subdivision surface though, I'm using a tool called Boolean. Boolean can do a lot of different things, but in order to get it to merge two objects together, First thing you'll see when you apply the modifier is the boolean name will be in red, which as you might expect means there has been an error. Right now that's fine, all it means is that you only have one object selected. You need to click on the dropper and you can click on the object you want the two of them to merge to. Now right now you'll see that this is actually cutting away at the shape that we originally picked the boolean for. We don't actually want that though. What we want is we want to join the two of them together. So what we want is we want to switch the operation to a union operation. Right now it's a difference operation and what the difference is going to do is it's going to cut away at a mesh, kind of like using a hole in Tinkercad, but union is going to join them together. Now right away you're going to see your other object goes funky. That's okay, because what's actually happening is uh, Blender's trying to render two surfaces that are right on top of each other. And the reason it's trying to render two surfaces is because it's actually made a copy of the second sphere. So we can get rid of this one now, and we have the original still intact to use. So don't worry if the Boolean modifier gives you something weird like that. All it is, is it just preserves the original objects you've added in. You can either hide them or delete them as need be for the particular project that you're working on. 